Hi, Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. See, I still have the Christmas tree up. I'm going to treat you to something really special today. I finally got my package from B&H Cosmetics. It came in the mail this morning. And I want to show you what I got. I am so stoked. It took me over two weeks to get it. And I don't think it's the fault of the company. It's just because we have really crappy mail delivery. But now I already got it out with a knife because that was always problematic when I open things and you got to struggle with the packaging and it takes a long time and stuff. So wanted to save you guys that. I really think that this is kind of cool. They have a way, they use special machinery and they cut holes in this paper and they make it stretchy. And this kind of reminds me of that camouflage material that our armed forces use and they hang it over tanks and different things and it's made in, in the camouflage colors and I'm sure it's not made of paper but this really reminds me of that and it seems to me that you could do something else with this I'm sure I'll find a craft use for this well I got in my b &H Cosmetics shipment some eyeshadow palettes and I got some liquid lipsticks and if you noticed I'm actually not wearing lipstick because I want to try some of them on during this and the first one that I want to, I'm going to show you what I got here, lipsticks wise. And I want to put one on right now because I know it will go with what I'm wearing. This, make sure I have the right one here because they insist on putting the, the lettering in tiny, tiny, tiny things that I cannot see because my vision has just gotten so bad. This is B&H Metallic Liquid Lipstick. Now I want you to know something about these colors. I've been looking at these for like two years now, but they never went on sale when I had enough money to buy and I will not pay full price. I can't afford to, but look at this. This is metallic. It's liquid. Now from my experience, these uh, liquid colors, they don't last too long. So it's really good idea to use them up. Now I'm using the old version of the Take Me Back to Brazil palette just for the mirror. And there's a reason why I'm showing you this because what do you see what I got? Oh my goodness, I love this. Mm. Oh, I love it. Mm. Oh my goodness. I love, 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 love this. Love this, love this, love this. This color is called Esmeralda. And it's metallic and liquid, but once it gets on my mouth, it feels dry. Now, I don't know whether it's going to transfer or not. I could give it the kiss on my hand list test. Okay, it does transfer, so don't think that you can uh, get away with not marking up somebody's collar or your coffee cup in the morning or whatever, but this color... I paid $4.50 for it. I think the usual list price goes for like $9, and I prefer not to spend that much. Of course, those of you that are used to buying high-end products are probably laughing at me now. That's okay. Now, this is the other liquid lipstick, and this I think I'm just going to put on my hand. This one, the color is called Agatha. And I'll put it on my hand to show you what, oh, isn't that nice? See that? And this one here is called Lucinda. And this is a darker purple. 
Oh, oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, my goodness. Oh, love it. Love it. Love it. Yes. Don't you love it when you pick out a color? It looks good on your computer monitor, and you order it, and you get it home, and it actually is as good as you hoped it would be. Isn't that just the bee's knees? Let's see, do I have any more in this box? Not of those. Okay. Now, this here is not a lipstick, but this is supposed to be a waterproof eyeshadow topper. It's called Eye Lights Waterproof Eye Color. Now, when I got this, when I ordered this, the color looked like a darker purple, like this. However, well, first, let's appreciate the packaging. I'm a sucker for beautiful packaging, even though if it adds appreciably to the cost, I could do without adding to the cost. But I love metallic gold. It just gives such a high-end luxury look. And this looks like a lipstick, but... This is actually what it is. You see this purple glittery stuff? This is supposed to be a topper. You can use this on on top of your eyeshadow. I'll I'll do some on my wrist here to give you an idea. Do you do you even see that? That seems pretty subtle to me. Now, just for the hell of it, I'm going to put some on my eyelids, which already have a, a pale eyeshadow. By the way, if you're interested in the eyeshadow that I'm wearing, this is from the Aurora Lights palette, also from B&H Cosmetics. That's what I'm wearing now. But, and I should have brought that particular palette in, but that's in the other room, and this is the kitchen. But I'm going to, just for the hell of it, put a little bit of this on my eyelids. Just to give you an idea of what it might look like. But I, I think it's really hard to say for sure because it's too close to what I already have on my lids. Now this I'm a little bit disappointed in because I thought it was going to be a lot darker than it is. But I like the fact that it's waterproof. And since I tend to have very watery eyes, I really appreciate something that maybe won't run and smear on me. It'll be something to play with, but it's much more subtle than I expected. I was expecting something dark and bright. Oh, well. But, you know, and I paid, I think, $5 for this, which is a little bit more than I would have liked. But I thought the color was just, I was expecting a real heavenly dark, bright purple. But what I really want to show you are the eyeshadow palettes. Now, with this offer I got, most of the shadow palettes were 30% off, and if you made at least a $25 order, it came with a free palette, and my order was just under $50 because I wanted to take advantage of the free shipping. They do have, and they had at the time, $40 minimum for the free shipping, which is kind of easier for me since I usually pay with gift cards. Now, this is a free makeup palette. It's called Midnight City. And it's a 16 color eyeshadow palette. This I was a little bit disappointed in just because I really like brighter colors and they're, it is very heavy on the neutrals. And most of these colors are too dark as far as this, I'm sure a lot of people would use as a highlighter. But this is not a highlight on my pale skin. Uh, it's got an interesting dark green that I think has potential. I like that they have a metallic cast. They don't seem to be matte. This blue I like. That, see, that looked like a, a dark gray, and it seems to swatch closer to black. Uh, I'm not going to bother swatching all of these here because, first of all, I don't want it to come off on my shirt. Second of all, so many of them are so similar, I don't know that you're going to be able to tell much of a difference apart. But, hey, the cost, the price was right. Free is always good in my book, and it's nice and portable. 
Whether I could use it as a standalone palette, I honestly don't think I could. But just for the blue alone, it's cool. And uh, I really like the, the sleeves that they put on here, which is much easier for traveling. That way it won't open up and it won't, it will be less likely to break and get crumbs all over in your luggage or something. I hate it when that happens. Now, I got the Galaxy Chic palette, and I've been looking at this for a couple of years now, but it wasn't quite bright and intense enough for me to justify the price, but I got it at a really nice discount. I think I got this for $10 or maybe even eight. And like the other uh, palettes in this series, that are based on celestial things, constellation, uh, astro astronomy. These, one of the things I like is that they actually have the names of all the colors. If I stick this up close, maybe you get a... And these, some of these are duochrome shadows. You see that they have, like, this particular color has a real pale pink in it, and then it has a medium muted plum purple shade. So you could use a really small uh, brush and you could use the lighter color as a highlight and you can use a darker color maybe as a crease color. The main reason why I got this palette is because I really, really, really like these bright colors here. Jupiter, which here, let's see. I don't want to get dirty hands in a palette. Swatch, swatch some of them. I'm going to do separate videos featuring each of these later on. But last thing I want to do is get this dirty with. Oh, this feels. Oh, I love it. Oh, love, 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 love that color. And I want to try orange underneath it. Oh, and these are all, all of these are frosty. Oh, oh, I'm going to like. This, yeah, yeah. Maybe my next video, I'll, I'll swatch these out. I'll do some things with it. But I've been looking at this for a while, and I finally got the deep discount that I wanted. And these shadows you can apply wet or dry, so they're very versatile that way. And see, this one's not loaded with a bunch of neutrals, which I find I don't want to say they're. I find them useless, but for my intents and purposes, I really do prefer the bright, dramatic colors. I just, I, they're, they're more practical for my life. I imagine if I had a normal job and wasn't in showbiz and stuff and was into more natural things, then I would go for all the neutral palettes. And it seems like most of the manufacturers, most of their makeup palettes are very heavily on the neutrals. Or they'll have mostly neutrals and a few brights. And that's just, that's over, and that's so done. That's so done. Now, the real reason why I made the order that I made was for the latest version of the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This has everything that I was everything that I was disappointed in with this palette, they got right with this palette. And I will show you the difference. I've shown you already a number of looks with the Take Me Back to Brazil, the version that I've been working with. And you see how most of these are mattes. And I noticed that the color payoff on the paler shades tends to be very chalky and comes on the eyeshad eyelid unevenly. Well, we compare this to okay. Compare these two palettes and you will see quite a difference. I like how one's black and one's white so that you can tell them from far away the difference. And the black one has metallic gold, and the white one has metallic silver. But you can tell right away the difference between these. These are so shiny and sparkly. Even the lighter shades here. So many of these colors just, I don't know, having them sparkly makes all the difference. Do you have a preference? I mean, you can, the B&H Cosmetics sells both versions of this. I wanted to wait for the new one to go on sale. And when it did, oh, I was so excited. 
And even the white highlighters are different in the new one. The, these ones here are iridescent. These ones here look like they're so iridescent that they're glittery. And I don't know if the black is any different in this one than it is in this one. Now, one thing I'm going to be curious about is the bottom row on this Take Me Back to Brazil palette. These ones here are metallic. So, looking at these, it'll be interesting to see. I'm going to have to swatch them in another video and see how the lower row in this one varies from the lower row in this one. It, yeah, this one, it does seem more intense and really sparkly. And yeah, I've been, I've been looking for, it seems like just as, almost right after I bought this palette, then they finally offered this one. I think because so many people remarked on how the color payoff was uneven, depending on whether they were light shades or whether they were dark shades. So this company does listen to the customers. When you ever, if you've ever ordered from their website, they have uh, areas where people can uh, report on what they thought of the different products they bought. So you can read reviews there and you can find out from other people. And they even let people upload pictures of what the uh, eyeshadow swatches look on their arms or different looks that they have gotten. And also B&H Cosmetics has a YouTube channel and they have makeup tutorials there also. So yes. I have both of them. I am so excited about this. This is really, this one, I think may be as good as their Aurora Lights palette, which is also all brights and all sparkly. I still don't think they could be standalone palettes because I do believe you still want a brow bone color that is matte and is close to your skin color or your skin color or a little tiny bit lighter. So for that reason, I still would like to have another palette or a single shadow that has maybe an off-white in it because you've got to have something for the brow bone. I am really excited. I have new goodies to play with. Isn't that what makeup's all about? Having beautiful colored goodies to play with. And if you can get pleasure out of something so small and relatively inexpensive, shouldn't you go for it? Yeah, makeup makes me a happy girly. All right, I keep on thinking there's something else I was supposed to show you, but I think that's it. If you like these videos, if you like this one, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, I'd love to have you subscribe. I make new uh, videos three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. I'd love to have you join me on my adventures. Till then, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.